Hey everyone, it's Elias, and today I'm gonna to show you how I went on a seven win streak in solo queue rank play. So right off the bat, I'm gonna go ahead and get into it and go over a commentary on what I'm thinking during all these gunfights. So off the bat, I get that nasty two piece. That guy throws a grenade through bottom bathroom. I know he didn't expect me to challenge it and I had bomb squad, so I won that gunfight. I also saw that my teammate on the left died on my mini map, so I just played for that guy to uh, play for the trade. I got my two piece. And then right here, this is some of my favorite action is where I'm just dolphin diving back and forth between this van, playing my life, and I was hoping that that reposition was going to help me win that gunfight on p2 where then i was going to be able to just hold the middle cut with that ar and then i have the submachine gun in my back pocket and then we would have been ready for a rotation with 20 seconds left um ideally that would have been a perfect gunfight win but i couldn't get it now right here with this much time left i have two teammates working the left lane so what i did is i went to go make sure no one was pushing up middle and gonna flank us in our staircase so because i picked that up i was able to get one kill in bathroom somehow one of our teammates spawned milk and uh, pretty much now at this point we have full map control of the hard point and I was looking for a cut middle, but it looked like the enemies were just instead pushing through milk side. And unfortunately, that guy killed me with Peeker's advantage. Uh, good for him. This is on PC, so there is, you know, a lot of sound EQ being used. Um, so some of the gunfights are uh, really, really tough when they uh, wouldn't be uh, in, hopefully, Modern Warfare 3. All right, so... With about 20 seconds left right here, I know that I need to rotate. These guys are going to be pushing through our left building, but I figured that my last teammate could pick that up uh, since he was off spawn. And then right here, I just want to play a tight setup with my teammates and uh, ideally play for these gunfights where we can just sit in corners. I uh, go for this uh, beautiful angle to kill that guy pushing up on bridge. We have two kills right here. And then this is where we actually get into a very tight setup. And we just basically hold over each other's backs. And we're just playing for kills. Um, again, sitting in the same spot, I just got, you know, two kills right there. And just by being in this tight setup right now, we're able to all basically soak up 15 seconds. And I wanted to pick up orange right there, but my player in time picked it up instead. Um, next time, I would prefer me to pick up orange and my player to just stay in time uh, because when he pushed in right there he ended up losing his gunfight and then that forced us to be in a 2v3 scenario my teammate lost his gunfight and then I was stuck in a 1v3 all right so moving on to p4 there's about 20 seconds left I wanted to wrap middle right here and see if I can find any kills trying to push through on the pot side turns out that the enemy is actually wrapped all the way around back p2 and I kind of almost flip spawns right there for my team uh so I got lucky that my teammates rotated right there. I kind of had a very bad play right there. Should not do that in the future. Uh, but now, just again, just like that P3, now we're just going to get into a tight setup. Everyone hold corners. Everyone hold pre-aims. Uh, this is kind of where like the game gets boring, but uh, being in solo queue, I'm always focused on just playing the objective, getting the win. And uh, in this game, I end up getting two minutes on time just because I'm only focused on playing time. You know, objective is hard point soak up the time win the game uh but right here we got four dead in the kill feed so i push out i look for a cut at bathrooms again that guy right there must have heard me uh push up and lay down so he won that gunfight unfortunately and then with about 20 seconds left i'm right here just trying to push out again we had that three dead i'm just trying to push out this left lane and get ready to rotate and uh unfortunately that guy was able to win trades where now they are soaking up the last 15 seconds this is actually going to tie up the game but this is okay because again we are controlling the pacing of the game by always winning the rotations rotating first and uh usually these enemies are hitting us with you know 20 seconds left and by the time they hit 20 seconds we're already at new uh case in point right here how we're all four rotated we win our three gunfights last guy is pushed up over here on the right lane and i should push out and go for that trade so my teammate can spawn near me but uh for some reason i just didn't go for it i, I just wasn't confident in it and i guess that's a really good uh, tip right there is i wasn't confident to push out and go for that trade but now I need to work on being confident in that gunfight. So what I need to do is I need to, you know, hop into a bots lobby or just hop into public match, go into that one spot and practice gunfights, jumping out, challenging Xbox, challenging the head glitch and playing for that trade. Because if I get that trade a lot faster, 
my teammate spawns with me, and then we have enough players, uh, enough reinforcements to play that rest of P5. Um, but again, like I said, unfortunately, I was not confident, and uh, that spawned my teammate all the way out. And that's what ultimately got the enemies about, you know, 20 seconds right there. Um, okay, moving on to P1. Again, we're in a really good setup right now. These guys, uh, they do definitely have a lot of good comms. Um, it's funny because yesterday I did an entire video talking about communication. Yet in this video, I don't, you know, communicate. How ironic, right? Um, but... Right here, I'm, again, I'm just playing the time, uh, you know, playing on the time. That's going to leave you in a lot of scenarios where you're probably going to lose a gunfight. But I get a beautiful two-piece right there because I get a call out that that enemy is pushing up middle. So I want to take an aggressive challenge, go for that trade. And then I hear the guy pushing up on my left and I get that nice two-piece. Um, again, me being on hill, I'm usually going to be the you know one dying. But with 10 seconds left, I'm happy with dying. I can win this rotation and help my teammate with new right here. All right, so there's already, again, two people at new. So these enemies already on the second set of rotations, they keep playing towards these white trucks. And keep that in mind, because that's going to uh, really be important towards the end of the game. Uh, at the end of the game, we have to prioritize those white trucks again, uh, because all the enemies keep going there. And if we just win those gunfights, we're going to have an easier time holding P2. Um, but going back to now, uh, right here, the enemies are kind of just playing it a little bit slow, looking for kills on the outside again at that white truck area. A very great power position. If you can try to get an AR over there, get an AR over there. Um, and this is where we're going to basically get to a tie game. Uh, just because we couldn't get control of that white truck, simple as that. It's a beautiful power position just to get damage down. And then uh, these enemy teams, um, or these enemy players, they're playing extremely disciplined. Uh, right here with 20 seconds left, I wanted to try to go to challenge these guys on old. And because I challenged these guys on old, that actually left them challenging me still, um, where I get a spawn at P3. And now, once again, we have this early rotation. I have a teammate left lane. I have a teammate right lane. I have orange. My teammate is on time. Um, unfortunately, right here, our teammates uh, pushed out. They lose their gunfights. And it just we're left into like a 2v3 on time right here. Um, I'm able to get that one trade. But this player top PD, again, this enemy team, their AR kept getting into power positions that was preventing us from soaking up a lot of time. Uh, so that's where, you know, as a team, you would want to try to hunt that player down, right? Or at least try to avoid them when you're on time, such as White Truck for P2, and uh, in this case, top PD uh, for P3. Because uh, even again, right here, it happens again. I'm like, all right, maybe I can go for a challenge right here. My teammates are rotating for P4. They're going to play for this guy. I'm going to challenge Hill. And once again, I die to that guy top PD. And and if look at look at that. Look at the kill feed. Olong Johnson, he's still alive. He's still up there. And we just have to understand that, yo, this guy's alive. We need to play for him. Um, so right here, I swap over to an AR. I actually swap back to a submachine gun. Uh, that was by accident because I do pull out the AR for P1 and P2 because I keep pulling up the scoreboard. And one thing I'm realizing on the scoreboard is we're basically losing a lot of like gunfights that we need to win um, for those important hills like P2, P3, right? Um, so right here, keeping out the sub again, just sitting in these same corners, playing for time, soaking it up, P4. Uh, once we get down to about, you know, 25 seconds and we get about two, three dead, I'm going to push out. Uh, so right here, uh, we're just going to play for one last wave of kills and then we'll push out. And then you're going to see how on this P5, we're going to play tight again. And then for P1 and P2, I'm going to pull out an AR just to add some uh, slaying power. And that's what's going to ultimately help us clutch up and make this game no longer a tie game. Because uh, this game has been back and forth the entire time. It's basically a bunch of diamonds versus a bunch of crimsons. And I am on my uh, sixth winning streak right here. This game gives me up to number seven uh, for the win streak. Uh, right here, I tried to play for good timing. And here it is again where that guy throws a nade. I know he's not going to look at me challenging with that nade. I have bomb squad. So I go for that challenge. I win it. 
right here i really thought someone was going to challenge hill and i would have to play for that kill and instead i just got shot back uh from laundry next time i just got to play for that laundry better and now pay attention right here we got four dead in the kill feed all these enemies are spawning on our left i'm cutting middle my teammate has his back left lane and then my two teammates are playing tight on hill this is a perfect setup where we nearly soak up the full 30 seconds right there i get this cut middle i know that the last few players are behind me so i try to get these trades and then unfortunately i just didn't reload my weapon and if I reloaded my weapon, maybe I get an extra kill right there or two. Um, but that was a very important hill right there where we get all dead. We're able to get into a setup to cut off these enemies from getting to P2. And we soaked up a lot of time. And now this is where it's coming down to the finale where this is pretty much the last gunfight where I switch over to a AR. Uh, it should be right here. Yep, exactly. It's right here just because the game is still tight, but I know we need that slaying power. Uh, right now, I think the entire game, we've been running three subs. And like I said, P2, we need that slaying power. Right here, I play for this trade top paper. I get a call out bottom laundry. I get that trade. Beautiful war zone movement to out uh, maneuver that guy top bridge. And then right here, again, we have three dead. Last guy top bridge. I'm getting ready for him to rechallenge. My teammate calls out that he has the rechallenge. So right here, I just throw down the trophy. And uh, unfortunately, I get double challenged um i really needed to get that kill back bridge uh but at least i got the damage down where we go up and we actually get spawns at p2 now this is the most important part that i was talking about where we need to get control of um truck right so i have three teammates at white truck i was like cool they have control of that i'm gonna hold the left lane and then we all die white truck like oh dude we should have known that the enemies kept triple hitting that white truck side because it's such a beautiful power position. And, you know, I should have played prepared for that and look for that. But at the same time, you know, I have three teammates already over there. I got to make sure we're not getting pinched at milk. Uh, so that was a tough situation to be in. But thankfully, again, with this AR out um, right here, I get stunned, try to play my life a little bit. I get a little bit of damage down. I play my life. We actually don't lose off of this time. So once my teammate wins that kill streak, I get good timing on this guy on hill. That's three dead. One player left alive on time. This is where my teammates fly up. We have one AR already rotated for new. This is really good. And since it's AC hill, our AR should be in a good position to 1v3 everyone. And then thankfully, uh, thankfully my teammates won the 2v1 on time. And uh, that ends the game just like that. 250 to 218. Beautiful. Uh, objective time on my part and uh, that's like my biggest tip right there is mostly just play for the objective play around the objective and of course keep in mind on the important things such as spawn you know um, and just thinking about where the enemies are gonna hit us from uh, because dang if p2 I went on to that white truck this game probably changes from like a 250 to a 160 win instead of you know 250 216 um, just because that white truck is such a power position. And if I was there, that would have done so much more for my team instead of me playing, you know, for spawns or playing for hard point. Um, but there it is, the yellow purple strike. Seven wins in a row solo queue. I've done this multiple times before. If anyone has any questions, please let me know in the comments below. I'm always happy to help. And thank you guys for watching. If you're interested in coaching, check out my Discord or my Fiverr in the description below. And I hope you all have a great rest of your day and good luck in your games. Thank you and peace.